Every parent's nightmare is to discover their child has been taken, and it's the last thing any country wishes to be associated with. But British social services have been getting a mauling in the Czech and Slovak media. According to a documentary screened last week by Slovak TV channel Joy, children from Slovak and Czech families are being taken into care without cause. The documentary suggests over 100 children have been removed from their families, many of them from Romani communities. The allegations are highly serious. Are UK authorities really guilty of snatching children away from their parents without good cause? The journalist behind the programme is Darius Haraksin. He explains the view of the families in the original documentary that brought the situation to the attention of the wider Czech and Slovak media. There are some Slovak families that think that British social workers are very strict and they take their children without a reason sometimes and very strictly with the helping of uh, police and unexpectedly this is happening without the reasons. Now, Darius is in London to investigate the other side of the story. Following meetings with the Slovak ambassador in Britain, he says the situation is not as ominous as it first appeared. Instead, it seems to be a tragic case of cultural misunderstanding. Darius again on the family's experience. Sometimes they don't know the language, sometimes they don't know the rights, what to do or what not to do. In the UK, it's illegal to leave children alone under the age of 12. Families may not be aware of legislation like this and feel mistreated when social services get involved. Ilona Pinta is policy director at the Children's Society, a charity that looks out for the welfare of children. Families find themselves in situations where assessments are being done by local authorities, uh, where there, there might be some safeguarding concerns, and parents don't understand the process and what the implications are, and often uh, aren't helped to understand that. And they aren't always able to, to get um, interpreters, or uh, they aren't spoken to in a way that uh, enables them to understand that. And so reports like these actually cause a lot of concern for uh, some of the Roma families that we work with because obviously because of the experiences historically of uh, persecution of Roma uh, across Europe and, and these sorts of practices in the past so that their immediate response is uh, to be very concerned and to be panicked. So the accusations are a panicked reaction to a traumatic and unfamiliar situation. But is it just a matter of better communication between social services and the families they work with? Ilona certainly thinks more effort needs to be made. We need to invest a lot more resource and time into working with families to make sure that the children are safe, that their, their needs and welfare is protected, but that they, in cases where remaining with their family would be in their best interest, that the family is supported to support the child. Damien Labas is editor of the UK publication Traveller's Times. He says there's a history of the authorities in European countries persecuting Roma families. I would definitely put it in the context of, of a centuries-long history of Romani people having their children taken away from them, supposedly for reasons of the child's well-being, but in many cases simply to try to eradicate the travelling culture being passed on in Britain, for instance. The Slovak ambassador to the UK, Mr Miroslav Vlachovsky, is keen not to scare Slovaks away from Britain. He says they need to be aware that Britain's childcare rules are different and more strict. Slovak families should be not afraid to come to the UK. That It's not that the social services in the UK uh, are taking away children without a reason. There must be a justification for that. According to Darius, the journalist behind the controversial programme, there has been a special request from the embassy for a sequel covering the following. Nothing bad can happen. Nobody will take your children away. If you leave according to the British standards, the children have to go to school, and they have to have material things and all that stuff. They have to be with their parents uh, always. There should be somebody taking care of them and all the kind of stuff. If, uh, this, is, this is what our embassy is trying to say and is asking uh, us to explain that to our viewers. Hopefully, this diplomatic intervention will make sure English law is not lost in translation. Meanwhile, the fate of the hundred or so children is unclear. Some have been returned to their families, whilst others remain in care in Britain.